one last run showing it, uh, showing the die cylinder exposed, and you'll see the relative speed of the sheet against the die drum. It momentarily runs at die drum speed, and then it fast tracks. Rotocup endeavours to produce 100% stripping. This is a partnership between the new computer controls on this die cutter and the skill of the die maker. Training a die maker to adapt his skills to produce a rotocut form takes just a few hours. feeder that you find on Rotocut is available as a retrofit on almost any converting machine. We have over 400 installations of our rollback feeders around the world on almost every type of converting machine. The servo drive enables a very straightforward installation and a very accurate result. Twin 800 servo driven measure and correct lead edge feeder.
This is the feeder in its uh, standalone table, but the vast majority of our feeders are installed in the feed table and they can be removed. There's the servo motor with uh, uh, tooth belt drives, drive and freewheel rollers, which avoids the raise and lower of the old fashioned sun type feeders, keeps a constant letterbox. Here's your lead edge hold down for G and E flute. And here are your Teflon preloaded brakes to check over run. Feed table we have the photo cell to measure and correct each sheet fed. It will also detect print mark if you want to run with print. Roller boxes are self-contained units with a deliberate gap in the center to prevent skewing. We remove the pivot point here. The belt drives are arranged in such a way that any belt that should fail, and it hasn't happened yet in nine years, all the rolls continue to be driven. Host machines that have poor pull rolls, if we arrive and the pull roll job has not been done properly, we can fit this temporary device called the Powell Paddles, which uh, bolts onto your backstop and guides the sheets deeply into the machine to avoid the influence of the pull rolls. Some people have fitted these years ago and are still running with them. It removes sensitivity to pull roll accuracy. They're an extra on the price. Flex run with a type of air system which is completely different to conventional lead edge feeders. These are axial aerofoil flow fans designed and built here that move 2,000 cubic feet of air per minute each at a very low vacuum of 18 inches of water. There's no adjustment on the fans, nothing for the operators to do. Or kit, or uh, that's an English expression, a typical set of parts to convert your flexifolder glue or your printer slot or your die cutter would constitute the fans, the roller box, the pendant control, the panel, and the encoder. And the encoder will mount onto your machine at some appropriate place where we need to register accurately to. The shiny vacuum apron which you see here is tailored and bespoke to each installation and it uh, allows the air to spread over a large area much like water poured onto the table. We don't rely upon rollers to suck it down, that's too fierce and too strong. We use the vacuum apron. This rollback has patents on measure and correct multiple registration, vacuum apron principle, and an additional feature which I will show you at the end of the film, which is in table bubble jet printing. So you see the way we plumb this box, it's uh, designed so that operators don't have to uh, uh, do very much. One fan uh, evacuates the outside chambers here and the other fan evacuates the inside chambers and all the operator has to decide is one fan or two. The fans are silenced. The whole system runs on any voltage you care to supply it. It's not voltage sensitive and all components in that panel are standard off the shelf lenser with the exception of the trio motion controller which is our property which is sealed and which carries the memory.